sure it's in it? I'm sure it's in it. Oh. We did it. We're here. Do I need to close the door? <laughs> no, it's fine, because she's going to be busted in a note. Okay. How do you like our backdrop? That's very droppy. I just realized that you were already recording. I am, yeah. <laughs> I thought we were just talking. We weren't just talking. But okay, right. well, you know what I mean. As in not being... I feel like as soon as we turn that on, my hair gets big. Like, this was not that big a minute ago. <laughs> anyway. It's almost Mardi Gras. It is. Indeed. Yep. And this is the Sunshine and Bubblegum Podcast. Uh, this is a knitting, crocheting, crafty, sewing... Thing. Thing. Podcast. Basically just the two of us running our mouths for... <laughs> It's like it's basically anywhere from forty five minutes on. So, uh, right now we're about a monthly monthly podcast. You are two moms. Don't look at me like that. You're two moms out <laughs> for of two, for two right, right for two months. We've been month for two months. We have been <laughs> consistently months. podcasting once a month. I'll take it. I will take it. I did have fun because what was it? Brett Brett goes. You're seeing Lynn again. I go. It's been a month. It has been a month. I know it's been a we're, month. Oh, there's Jenna's girlfriend. Okay, pause down. Pause down. She does taste like king cake, but that's not that's rude. Well, there's Riley. For anyone who's been messed up, you have not been doing this. Just turned two, and she's been ignoring Jenna almost the whole time. But now, nope, Uh, nope, nope, not anymore. Nope, she's bad. She's a sweet girl. She's very sweet. I just don't understand. I don't get any of those kisses. Where my kisses? Oh, thank you. But you got like 20. All right, go lay down. Where's your ball? Where's your treat ball? Go get it. No, don't look at She's like, the cur- the shade's open and she's trying to see the neighbor. <clears throat> so this is the podcast. This is how the that whole thing's going like- to go. It's just going to be dog yarn. <laughs> Lynn loses her voice. She has legitimately been ignoring me for the past like 30 minutes. And then it was like once the thing came well, on. Well, we started talking. Well, we were, we've been talking. Yes, it was she like. She brought you a treat ball. Good girl. Good girl. Now go <laughs> go play. Um, let me see if we have real notes. This is going to go. Real down. notes. Oh, boy. Okay, so um, I will leave all the links down below in the drop-down thing for yarns, patterns, um, our knit-along that we're doing, and where you can find us on social medias because I didn't write it down and I could never remember it, right? But I am Sunshine and Bubblegum on Instagram, and you are Fairly Loopy. Yes. Most active on Instagram. We are both on Ravelry. All of that will be down below. Well, as uh, nice as I didn't realize this, because I was like, I never post anything on Ravelry, but my Instagram is linked to it. So oh, there you go. Apparently, everything I post on Instagram goes to my Ravelry. So if you follow me on Ravelry, you're getting way too much of my life. Mm. Hey, when are we going to do our um, Harry Potter-themed month? Harry Potter-themed month? Yes. Mm-hmm. I thought that was every month. It is every month. I mean, let's not let's not joke about that. Except for this month because it is the official weekend before Mardi Gras. Mm-hmm. All the big parades are rolling. Today is Thursday, the twenty eighth of February. Last night, Nick's rolled. That's right. Tonight is Muses. Muses. Tomorrow's Crew de Ta. Over the weekend, it's Endymion, Bacchus, Orpheus, T- Morpheus, Morpheus, <laughs> uh, Tux rolls Saturday. Is uh, the drunk monks on toilets? Yes, that is a parade. And then Does Toad run? Or is that last I don't know. Was that last week? I haven't been uptown in years. Other Bacchus? Bacchus is Saturday. Saturday. And Demi and Sunday usually? Yes. Unless it rains and then they roll on the same day and that's horrible because you you have to choose. Yeah. Um and then Monday is Lundi Gras. Tuesday mm-hmm. is Mardi Gras. And then Wednesday is a normal day. Yeah. Well, it depends on do y'all get a week off or do y'all Yes. You get a week off. Yeah, we're gonna go up to the farm, so get ready for Instagram farm pictures, people. I know I've been a little quiet lately, but not feeling good. Boys have been sick. You have been quiet. You have been quiet. And that's weird for me because I'm not quiet. No, you're not, and I can't stalk you efficiently if you're not doing things. We we've just had like soccer started, bugs been going around. Mm Mm-hmm. I just haven't good knitting. I think it's being sick being sick is good knitting. (laughs) I haven't been posting as much because I don't wanna like Make people sick of purple, you know, gold, and green because that's all what I've you been, been doing. doing. This? I don't know what's going on. Okay. I have just been crocheting chevron and <coughs> braided Mardi <coughs> Gras scarves. Look, which it got curly and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> which, which means I haven't been able to work on my Groovyarnius project. So I have what? I have one sock. Four days. Four days. Yeah. Four. 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five days. I have five days. Five and a half if you can To finish it. something. <laughs> well, the Crew of Yarnius project is with our mystic Crew of Yarnius knit and crochet along and spin along, which we are hosting, co-hosting with the girls from the Cherry Pearls podcast, Mary and Robin. Um, it is a Mardi Gras themed um, knit along, make along, as in you have to use a purple, green, or gold yarn. You can use all three, but it doesn't have to be all three colors. You have to use at least one. All the rules are linked below. It is continuing till Tuesday, March 5th, and we will close. We are hosting the finished objects thread. We will close that um, probably Wednesday morning. <laughs> probably But we'll Wednesday say get them, in, get them in for Tuesday. And um, then on our next podcast, we will give away prizes. So do that. Would the next yeah. one be St. Patrick's Eve? Be like coming all green and we could if we speak in Irish if, accent. If, yes, we <laughs> could do that. We could St. Patrick's Day. Uh, you could wear those I, earrings. Do I have a green? I, I think I do have. have a green wig. Oh, you would have a green wig. Always a party. Um, <clears throat> so that is the cow that we are co-hosting, and um, lots and lots of things are in the finished object threads already. Mary and Robin are hosting the chatter thread and prizes mm -hmm. will be drawn from both so make sure you are a member of both our Ravelry group and their Ravelry group and uh, be chatting away and put your finished objects in yeah there was yeah. I remember I looked kind at of it like a low-key cow but yeah, yeah I was it these was... beads are gonna go to one of the prize winners and I got another set which is out of frame there are the only other it's over here over here somewhere purple green and gold but these are from the parade already this week this year so and that's my new plant it's right there super excited haven't killed it yet <laughs> is it because it's new <clears throat> maybe had it for a day okay. she just bought it do you have speaking anything? of pink do you do you but, have anything finished finished no everything that was finished got sent out because i wanted i wanted it, it. yes i'll put in pictures i'll put in pictures of the cowls that you were making yeah she got was... she got she got um i don't want to use a bad word but she got... Like it, um, what is it? Inundated? In, inundated? How is it? I don't know. Her I know how to spell it. Her mother-in-law was selling her scarves and cowls she was making for her <laughs> before she made them. So she got put to work. Yes, I finished... I had uh, four... Uh, yeah, in the four past chevron? month. Four chevron scarves, um, which lengthwise... I the The original two were... Not long enough, so I had to find where I joined them, which... You had to cut it, your crochet. Yeah, I had to cut into my... Which is terrifying. And at the same time, when I'm looking through, I was talking about I go, I can't find where I've done this. And I go, I'm really impressed that I can't figure out where I joined right? it. Right? But man, I'm really mad right now. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could find it where so I So I had to do that. So I had to... So I think I thought I had three finished, and then I had to take them apart and add three more... Repeats and oh my gosh, so many ends. I didn't realize because yeah. I've usually mostly been working with variegated or solid yarn Did without you even a ton sell, of like, like the first one you made. They're all yeah, gone. They're, they're all gone. gone. They're if, all gone. If anybody would like to see them, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to put the pictures before or at the end, but last podcast, Jenna had a braided, it looked like a king cake, a braided yeah. purple, green, and gold double cowl, and then you had one that was a chevron double cowl. Yes. So, you, so, so in the past month, you made four more chevrons. Four, sh yes. And, and how many cakes? Two. Which at so one of... That's... that's One of them was <laughs> the regular length, but then another one I had to make longer. Because it all depends on... Right. How everybody wants and to style this. You don't realize the personal preference, like, of people have, like, versus scarves. Because some people like their scarves shorter. It also depends on how tall they are. If they're a taller person yep. or, like... And if they like to wear them down to their waist, waist or if they or, want to double or it. Or if they want to double it. Or sometimes they want to triple it. Like, or they want to double it and then have Stop extra. making pretty things. Mm. I've learned the hard way that gift making can suck sometimes. Sometimes. It's, I mean, I love it. I like, love making things, it's especially nice. for my family and my nieces Honestly, and nephews. Thing, but it's, I think it's when it gets, um, <clears throat> when it's hard when you're working on the same project where and you just yes. don't feel like it's going. It's not fun anymore. Like, and what was it? I spent a, what was it? I sent you a, a message and I was like, is it possible for me to finish this much in like a period of what was it like three weeks 
Yeah, it was like three weeks. Yeah. I counted it. I counted the days. I was like, I have to do this much in order to get it done. And actually, one of the chevron scarves I finished. Um, I finished it. It was uh, they. They were supposed to be all done by the twenty third, and I finished it on the twenty fourth. So, it happens. So it's yeah. it's it's not the thing is it's nice to have your projects in demand, um, but you know it's it's hard when you have several other projects right. and that you have to move to the side for that because it's not even just like oh I want it done before this winter it's like oh mm -hmm. Mardi Gras and I want to wear it to the parades you have to get them done like before yeah. like the at least it wasn't the very first parade it was somebody, like the official didn't parade. somebody fuss at you because you didn't have business cards. That wasn't for yarn. Oh, <laughs> that, oh was, that was for your singing. That was for singing. <laughs> well, either way. You could get one business apparently. card on one side. Apparently, of I side. need... Yeah, I just double side them. It's fine. We'll consolidate. <clears throat> I can sing and crochet oh. at the same time. Since all of your finished things are out in the world, I saved one finished thing to show y'all. I have um, a whole bunch of stuff that went out. My, ha my hat for my... Sister-in-law, my mom's socks, and I ended up making um, two apple hats, little crocheted Hi, hats Marie. for my kid's teacher. Well, She's pregnant go. with twins and as a teacher, mm. so I made two little apple hats. So I'll put pictures of all of those in. But uh, Ariana's blanket is done, y'all, and i got to send it out because she is almost in college. <laughs> okay, she's almost like six months old, but still. Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty. I thought I had three this more repeats, so and I took it in from the car. So I could um, measure it, and I'm like, whoa, this is at four feet. It's done. Mm -hmm. So it's just about three foot wide by four feet long. I wanted what to make them big enough so they could be like a solid crib blanket. Mm -hmm. oh, that's my, oh, let's show the other edge because that's my um, ends woven in mm -hmm. edge. Um. So I put this on, I think I did post one picture uh, of I had this draped over the couch just to kind of show how big it was. And I hadn't woven in at all the ends. And they were legit, like, drop a color, pick a color up, go. Mm -hmm. And Shawnee comes with his scissors. And he's like, hey, Mom. And hands me a hand. Like, he didn't cut all of them, but he handed me, like, six strings. He's like, I was helping you trim your ends. And I <laughs> took everything I had not to cry in front of him <laughs> and yell. And I was like, thank you, darling. Give me those scissors and walk away backwards. <laughs> I got a message about that. And I was like, I, you, I think you had just sent me the uh, message going, I think it's done. And then we were talking then, yeah. about something else. And then it was, it was. <clears throat> okay, here you can, I think you can, oh, wrong camera. Okay, right there. It's a little fuzzy and a little fuzzy. These are some very tiny, tiny, tight knots. Because that was all I could do. And cross my fingers and pray. But they don't unravel because he did these two, these two, and these two. Mm. And the rest I was able to weave in and 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 save, but um, this is the six day kids blanket. Let me see. I think I have, did it take you six? It did not take me six days. It took me a few months. It could have been done faster had I kept it in the car the whole time, like I ended up doing. Did I have? Oops. I will link it down below. Um, it mm -hmm. is a free pattern um, that I found it on Pinterest. I don't see it on there. I, I found it on it Pinterest, podcast, and so. I um, she is on. <clears throat> she is on um, Ravelry. That this the, this um, maker designer is on Ravelry. So this pattern is free. It's on Ravelry. It's on Pinterest. The kids six day kids blanket. The original pattern is done for a chunky weight, and it is a smaller pattern. So, yes, you could definitely do it in six days. I did it in a worsted weight yarn um, from Hobby Lobby, and it's the I Love This yarn. Um, and I added extra rows. I don't even know how many stitches I added on extra. I just counted until I had about three feet uh -huh. wide. Yes. Betty McNitt. Betty McNitt, yes. Pattern yep. is available for free. Yep. Um, oh, so you can obviously color. change the look of this by changing the colors. You could do bigger, you know, two big stripe chunk stripes. Mm. But this is like this is basically like one section is what I did each color in. Super cute. So that is done, and now this is going to go to my niece. And now I get to start on a new blanket because I'm expecting another niece come June. It is. Yes, and she wants a pink, gray, and white blanket. <laughs> 
Oh, my neighbor's out. Hi, neighbor. So that's my one big finished item. And now I have one, two, three, four, five works in project. For, I have five have things that are, are on hooks and needles. Okay, I have, actually, I have five, but I think I only have four with me. All right, and you show something. Um, okay. Show so, something. It's mostly showing off the yarn at that point. That's this all right. All Everybody likes to look at some yarn. I moved. She's coming back. Oh, here comes the dog. Um, I hope y'all can hear me okay. And I went and got the, um, st oh, Riley. <laughs> so lay down. <laughs> She's like a whale. She sounds like, yeah, you sound like a, oh I got a memory chip like I had discussed last time in the blah, 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 blah section. So hopefully this won't shut off in a half an hour. All right, I have this, which is, this is for the cow. This was, um, I showed this yarn off. I think I showed it off last Show time. It off I there. Um, this is Black Cat Custom Yarn. This is the Link colorway. And I'm trying to make a scarf with it. It's the, um, Trinity Stitch with, I think this is Cluster. Well, I mean, it looks like a cluster. For that one, uh, the cos is that the cosmic cowl? No, this isn't the cosmic oh, okay. cowl. This a this is a different pattern. This was the, no, this was something as in I like opened up my crochet stitch book and oh, picked so two, now you're designing. Pick two. I a, like it. It's a very Beautiful. loose term. <laughs> loosely, loosely, loosely designing. But um, so I just wanted to see because I like the way the color spreads out and yeah. then the it's a little um, more Julie tone. Yeah, but it's, there's a lot of light. The light is kind of. Throwing it really off. Really pretty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is like, what I'm trying to finish for. It's much more green. The cow. Oh, for really the crew of Yarnius. Um, I have a picture, like a smaller yeah. picture of that, but I've got to get the repeat, but I was trying so to. Pretty. That's really pretty, though. Get that one figured out. Yeah. There's much more like greens and mm -hmm. that. There's some purple. There's a little, there's some little small pops of orange in there. I think um, Robin actually commented under it, and she said, I love the pops of orange that are in mm. this. Because I guess you don't really expect them. But that's the thing that I'm going to be trying to finish before <laughs> Tuesday. Good luck. Aw. Riley left her Shh. treat ball in my own. Don't talk. She left it in my thing. Okay. Okay, so soccer has started again. So I picked up my own cowl shawl because somehow in my head that's what I had said I was going to do. So I did, and it's been really great. Although um, it's starting to get really hot already, so I don't know. You know, if... But it's supposed to drop. Again, this weekend, we're supposed to get another That's cold true. snap it's be down in, in the 40s, 40s, 40s. yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, I went ahead and I moved my stitch marker, but here I met the halfway point, which was my goal, was to get over it. Now I'm on the buttonhole. So I moved my stitch marker because I was at the game and I needed to put it where the buttonholes were going, so I didn't forget to put the buttonholes in. So I got two solid buttonholes, but that was 25 repeats of... The center stitch pattern. And this is the Ohm Shawl. Wow. There we go. Ohm Shawl by Andrea Mowry. This is just brown, uh, chestnut brown by Patton's um, Classic Wool in their merino. Hmm. Nothing super exciting. All the, all the, <laughs> my goodness, I think all the color choices and stuff are soccer grass. <laughs> so I've just been knitting the middle part, like Middle Island. But it's like half of a cozy thing. And it's definitely been keeping me warm. This is going to look so good when it's done. Oh, that is nice. Like, I look really classy already. <laughs> need a feather hat. I do need a feather hat. Oh. My neighbor. She's not yelling, so that's good. Anyway. So that's yes. what I've been working on during soccer. And um, it's been keeping my lap warm at the games because it has been... Nice. A bit chilly. Uh, some of the practices are at like 6 o'clock at night and the mm. sun's already down. That's always fun when it's like, we're going to start out cold in the morning and <clears> we're going to get warm in the afternoon yeah. where you regret wearing what you wore this morning, but then <laughs> we're going to get cold again. Welcome to New Orleans, which could also be New England weather too. I think a lot of places are just like, you don't like the weather? Wait five minutes. But it has been yeah. rainy, sunny, rainy, sunny. So they either cancel practice or we go practice in the mud. The mosquitoes are out already? Like, how is it February and the mosquitoes really? are out? Really? The yeah. mosquitoes are out? Mm-hmm. Jeez, we haven't had that issue at our house yet. Mm. Knock on wood. What's going on with this thing? <laughs> oh, my God. 
Okay, focus. Focus. <laughs> Too much sugar for you. Yes. We ate king cake before we started podcasting. This is the nectar of New Orleans. What else you got? Anything? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, before I have to show off my I have, leggings. I have your Tonks treat ball in my... <laughs> Okay, sorry. Right in my face. <laughs> I'm sorry. My feet probably sting too. I've been in my sneakers all day. <laughs> well, I mean, they can't tell, and I wasn't going to say anything, but now You're that, welcome. Now that it's now, out there. Well, you can... I'm actually really... Don't die. Stop that. Okay, so... So, all right, I showed this yarn off last week. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, your tree ball's there, but we're not playing tradesies. You can't take the yarn, but you think, yeah, go like that way. I don't understand. She's making a big puppy eyes. Anyway, um, oh, I did, I had this yarn, I had this last week. I was doing the dragon, snap dragon stitch mm -hmm. with this yarn, got through it. And then realized I didn't like it. I didn't, well, I didn't finish it, but I got yeah. enough through that I was looking at it. I was like, this isn't something like that I'm going to wear, and I like the idea behind it. I don't really like... I don't like how this is looking with the color scheme. So I took the whole thing apart. Like you do. You do. And I started up using something based off of last week. I, uh, last, not last week, last month. I was last showing week, off the month. Magic Fairy Infinity uh, scarf. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and so I took kind of an idea from that, which was that one goes single crochet, slip stitch, single crochet, slip stitch. What I did here was I did, started with a, um, single, I started with a slip stitch and then would go three half double crochets, um, in separate stitches, not one stitch, and then do a single crochet yeah, so yeah, or a slip see, stitch. It would like be slip one, stitch, two, three, and then yeah, three like half, uh, three half double crochets, then another slip stitch. But it made like these little like, yeah, kind of like um, I thought diagonals it, are really cute. Yeah, I thought it it kind of looked a bit more like um fire. Like I felt like it matched the yarn better. You see what I you see what mm. I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. The tighter down that end. Yeah, I mean if you yeah, and if you stretch it out, you can kind of see it a bit better. But I I just ended up liking the way the colors were working. Yeah, better. no, it's really pretty. It's yeah. almost like marbly. Oh, it is. You're right. It's a good point. It's really nice. The yarn's beautiful, of course. I like how all of your things are just like, yeah, I ripped this out and started another stitch. I have done that. Well, that's like, what you can do with crochet. Like, it was it, yeah, like those because it's something that I go. <laughs> I may or may not have taken apart an entire project and started over again. Well, for the next blanket I'm going to do, I have three different ideas, so I'm going to do, like, a little test and see which one I like better. Yeah, and the thing is, is, like, you can do, you can, you can do a swatch, <clears throat> but that doesn't mean once it gets to a certain length that <clears throat> you're going to like it. Right. I liked the way the Snapdragon stitch looked in, like, a, on a small scale, but once I started building it up, I was like, I don't, it just didn't work. I felt, I think you, it's, I feel like with that you would almost need, like, a more solid color, yeah, or something like that. You, you you lose the stitch. You lose this too. Yeah, it just doesn't work as well. So there's that. Cool. And now I'm I'm actually really enjoying working with the yarn. That's the other thing is if you're working if you're not enjoying the pattern white with the yarn, no, just take it apart. And I think that's the thing that I really started thinking about more is because everyone's like, I'm just gonna work on what makes me happy, and it's really true. Like. I didn't pick up a lot of things for a long time, but I had a bunch of socks that needed heels, and I was, like, on a heel block in my mind, like, so, instead, and so I wasn't going to let myself knit any more socks, because I didn't finish those other ones, mm -hmm. and then I was on these blankets that were, like, oh, it's taking forever, and I do love doing the blankets and having them to give to my nieces, because every, every niece and nephew that have one of my blankets, they, they still love them, whether they're mm -hmm. brand new baby, or they're, you know, they're, they're getting to be up, like, in the fours and threes and stuff now, but... And I love that, but it's just at the same time, it's like, oh, it's not for me. It's not bringing joy in that moment. Um, but putting it in my car for my car knitting or car mm -hmm. crochet, I whipped it out. I finished See, it up in like three weeks. Like, yeah, that's like, that's the almost like the keep your hands busy. Yeah, like, as opposed that was to, like an hour each day for three weeks. And I did it. And it was like. It's like as opposed to like yeah. choosing. Like, yeah. And then at night I do something for me. 
So I was like, that's yeah. all right. You know, give, give myself a time. I try and give myself, like, at least two separate times during the day. Mm-hmm. And then I have a small project that I just bring with me that you can work on if you're waiting for something. Mm-hmm. It's in my purse. Yeah. That's always, like... Yeah. Bonus part. I had that because I used... To, you know what it was? And I think it, was, it sounds bad, but it was partially because, like, you'd be putting something together on this. <clears throat> you would show it off. And then I'd be like, I showed this off. I was doing this. And it happened, it happened on Instagram before where I posted something and I'm like, I'm doing it with this pattern. And then I get halfway through and I'm like, I don't like this. And then you yeah. restart it and then you have to be like, well, here, you want to still show off what you're working right. on. So you're like, here it is again, <laughs> but well, I don't that, like... Well, that's what this is going to look I like. Took, I took it apart. This is going to look exactly like it looked last time, but this is actually phase three of this sock. <laughs> this is when you had to, like... Yes, this is tight. the Drippity Drop Sock Pattern, which is from Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And here is the pattern stitch. I'm still in love with it. It is so fun to mm-hmm. work on. Um, but a couple of changes. I think last time I talked about not liking the black and the brown and the pink because they were two different, the black and the pink because they were two different textures. And um, I got to put the heel in and I really couldn't get it up over... Oh, landscaping guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, <clears throat> he, all right, he's going down the street. Um, I couldn't really pull it over my heel. Like, I could, but it was like... <laughs> it was tight. So, I got a great suggestion on is, um, the YouTube channel here. Someone said just doing the pattern on the front of the socks. Riley. You get... Good thing you put makeup on today. <laughs> you don't have any more on. Okay, Riley, go lay down. Go. Thank you. Thank Jenna you. loves you too. You're sweet. Um, which was doing the pattern on the front, and then someone on my Instagram post suggested um, or asked if I had read the gauge on the pattern. Which <laughs> was smart. Which I had not, and of course, of course, there was a gauge swatch, and of course, there was a note that if you're a tight knitter, to go up a needle size. And I don't know if I did put my swatch in here. Okay, so I pulled it all out. Um, I did the the tiniest swatch in the history of swatches. (laughs) On a size two, I did on a size one most of my socks. So it's really pretty, and I did get gauge on a size two, but the stockinette is on the bottom of the feet, and it was just like, I think it was way too thin, not enough structure. So I was like, okay, so I don't think going up a size needle was going to be what I wanted. I did I did wash this, too, because, you know, when you make the tiniest gauge in the world, that's ridiculously horrible to read. Anyway, um, so my gauge was way too tight. I swatched. I got gauge. Don't like the gauge. So then I was like, oh, I'll try just going up to the next size in the pattern, which was a 72. I, um, I was doing the 64 stitch. I did the cuff. It could go all the way up my arm. <laughs> it went above my knee. And I was like, ah, even if the sock part fits, like, this isn't right. Like, you know what I mean? I was afraid the heel and everything was going to be way too off. So I was like, this isn't going to work. So I went back to the very first suggestion, which was knit only the pattern, only on the front. So I've done that. So this is the pattern on the front. And then the back is just in stocking it. And it's super oh. cool because it's still doing that swirling. Hmm swirling black um, through the pattern on the front and the back. I also changed the yarn. I was looking through my stash and I had the same base weight out of one of Robin's from Teeny Buttons yarn. So this is her cast iron. And it's um, sometimes it looks, it's like a brownie grayish. I I see to me it's more brown. Yeah. It's got speckles of navy and and purple but when when I was looking at it before it just has a lot of purple to it. And like it's a warm tone. So I felt that it went really well with this, and I, I like it. Like, pinks and browns go, but mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of oranges and golds you can see in the back, pops. Um, and I, it b- picks up the brown, too. So I, I really like it. I like the dark and light um, tone. I'm still loving the sock. This is this part is, like, three sit-down knit. Like, I can't just... Mm-hmm. I try and do four rows because that's one full repeat, and I end up being like, I'm just going to do one more. <laughs> and then I had a doctor's appointment the other day, so I did, like, six... But um, I'm almost to the point where I'd put in a heel, but I think I want to make them a little longer. Last time I did 15 repeats, and mm-hmm. I think I want to do maybe closer to 18. I want a, a long cuff. 
So this is the third version, and uh, it fits. I did try it on. It goes on great. It's got enough stretch with the back, so that was perfect. So thank you so much for everyone's suggestions and advice. Um, always read your pattern first. And follow the designer's instructions. Yeah. Oh, and this is um, from Lolo Did It. This is Raspberry Beret. Uh, and Kay and Dan from the Bakery Bears are hosting a knit along, and you have to use a yarn that's uh, inspired by music. So mm. this is obviously Prince <laughs> Raspberry Beret. So I think I will be, cause especially because it's Kay's pattern. And she's seen this before, so I, I got to make notes that I've. This is the third time I've knit it. Um, I think I might enter that in the. That's in fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're knit along. Super excited about that. So, the swatch can go now. But <laughs> I saved the swatch to show y'all. Swatching can be beneficial. Hmm. Probably should have done a bigger swatch, but I just did. I did. I knew right away that the gauge was too wide. But I gave it a chance. I washed it to see what it did. Yeah, gauge is always. N Nice for something else, but not for the bottom of a sock. Mm. I don't think. No, I think that's always the so far. Was that I saw somebody posted something? I don't know if it was Facebook or they. They were like when you're. I don't know if it was crocheting or or when you're a tight knitter or you mm -hmm. and there's some crochet and you're doing a hat and it just had somebody, like with, looked like a hat that was meant for a doll on their head. <laughs> like and it was just like, sitting on the top. Yeah. <laughs> Some, someone works. just posted that from one of the um the little uh, a little yarn. Riley, <laughs> go lay down. <laughs> Are you gonna go in the garage with Daddy? Oh, um, she's gonna be happy about that one. Yeah, she just sit there and whine. Um, <laughs> and, mommy was mean to me. So, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on in California? Is it <laughs> stitches? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, there was just a yarn festival thing in California. I don't know if it was Stitches West or was... You know, I think I heard about that, but I think it was because people that lived in the oh, area was... were complaining that the tickets sold out so fast that, like, oh. they lived down the street from it, and they didn't get think, tickets. Oh. I think SSK is in Tennessee. I think that's coming up. I don't think it's Tennessee. I don't think it's Tennessee. Um, but anyway, so, someone made, like, a doll size sweater, but it was from Tin Can Knits, I think, new... Um, book that they have out where you can kind of design mm -hmm. your own pattern but they made it small but they posted it and it says gauge matters y'all <laughs> <laughs> I was like well tiny it was super cute but anyway do you got something else um, 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 um. okay let's see all right well this is okay so well I showed this off last but that was when I thought I was doing something that's when it was two different it. patterns it was two different patterns okay you so can show it. it's beautiful I still love it it's about the same size though. yeah it is it's um okay so the yarns be still from Hobby Lobby it's so pretty I mm -hmm. love it so much um so I like this I said the, with this one it's it I'll say it's based off of fairy magic fairy magic and the colorways be, be, be still however Apparently, and I've caught myself doing this so many times, when somebody says single crochet, sometimes by habit, I don't know if it's just because I do have double crochet a lot, I'll have double yeah. crochet instead of, instead so of single. last time it was too, it was tighter. So about like, um, let's see, I added some more rows, I had to take out like, like a third four. of the way in, right? Yeah. And, um, and she pointed it out, like, she goes, here? what did you, what ha what's happening? And I, I thought it was the hook I was <clears> using. Because I was like, oh, and I actually was using a wrong hook. But it did, but what, then what happened was I started doing it, and then I looked at it, and I realized it was doing the exact same thing, only it was just a little more spread out. Yep. So I took it all the way apart up until the, it stopped, um, and then pulled out a few to see what the stitches were doing, and realized that instead of doing single crochet slip stitch I was doing half double crochet slip stitch so I was not following the pattern at all well okay I was this following is, it this is going to be the lesson but I was of following this it incorrectly read the instructions twice. read the instructions read what the designer says about what you're doing gauge. And the thing is, is it's a the, that very it's very pretty. It's gorgeous. It's, and it's gorgeous it's really in this pretty. yarn. Like I think it would look good in a solid yarn because the texture is yeah. so pretty. But so you kind because of because this is speckly. And see, you almost have to imagine because see this 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 thing Excuse is me. now. I started doing this. Whoops. I just put time. that anywhere. It's this is so. What I did speckly. was I took it apart and just started doing slip stitch yeah. half double crochet through because I liked the way it looked in the yarn. Yeah. All it all the um all the. Uh, 
the um Cut. sorry ah! <laughs> Sing all this good. all the single crochet does is like what I call like these I liked it because it gave it more of a wavy look the mm. half double crochet it just makes it more of a line I guess and less so this is the half this is the half double crochet the original pattern was this for is, single the original was for single that's what I mean like I'll, so I'll say what I'm doing is is based off that pattern based, so it's based off it's the, based off the pattern but it's not the pattern I, because I, I was I was doing the pattern wrong calling me to say why does my rows keep growing at the end I have more stitches than I started with to now you're like oh I just didn't like that so I designed my own pattern <laughs> I, but this, that's the best this part was about an this accident. like it's all right it's a happy accident it was a happy accident but I just and when I like you're done with that you can make me one there you go or with I could go yarn? buy my own yarn and this this but I it's really pretty and so um but the but I'm not but the thing is is the the fairy magic the the original pattern was very is very pretty it's very yeah. pretty, but um it's neat it looks really it neat looks neat too. like this because right. I'm trying well, to think it was it was more like lines it, they were more lines whereas this gives it more of a diagonal the Almost stitches like are a more diagonal herringbone yeah let's see if it's got that but but the stitches oh my God. she doesn't have any grass over there. <laughs> He just went by on a riding lawnmower. He's making sure. That was a riding lawnmower. But yet they don't the have any grass next door. But <laughs> but yeah, this the just these <laughs> this part <laughs> this part of the stitch, if you look, it kind of gives it a bit of more of a diagonal look. Whereas the other one, it's just like yep. it kind of does a small bump. This yep. makes it look yes. more like this. I like it a lot. So I was like, I really like that. So I'll do this now. I probably will end up using. Actually, I might have. Actually, I might do it without yarn. I might do just Ooh. the fairy magic infinity star with another thing of yarn I have. Is that a free it. pattern? Then yes, then. the fairy magic infinity scarf is a free pattern. Um, she had it on her website. I think I linked it last time. You did. Mm -hmm. You would have. Um, so, if you want to go check out what she did, it looks great. If you like what I did, just do half double just crochet. Just do her pattern, but instead of doing single the single crochet, crochet, do a half double crochet. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Patterns brought to you by Jen. <laughs> just ooh, ooh. where I'm making mistakes on people's actually patterns. Show this one first. This is the. Oh, that's right, because you do. Aren't you? This doing is that? my yarniest count. Yeah, your yarniest. Yeah, this is oh, just a plain yarniest. sock. I'm not worried about how fast this one takes me to make. Um, I just sent my mom her her pink ones that I was working on and she loved them. She was so cute because I was, she's like, I love them, they're perfect. And I said, okay, well, I'm, I'm working on another pair of these. See? He's probably like, oh, there's no he's grass cruising. here. I'm gone. He's, he's cruising. just pretending to work. He is, he's, he's just like, showing off for the neighbors. Um, <laughs> landscaping by <laughs> Lynn's neighbors. Landscaping um, was at Critiques. Oh, oh, my mom. <laughs> First, hi, mom, because she says I talk about her a lot. So this is my mom segment. Mm -hmm. I don't even know socks. her mom when I talk about she her mom. Love him. She loved him. Oh, she said she'd adopt you, by the way. No question. Aww. She hasn't even met you. Just, you're in. Oh, yay. Um, I asked about And that. she said she loved her socks, and they could be two rows shorter on the foot and two rows shorter on the heel. <laughs> and I had to laugh because as soon as she said two rows shorter on the heel, as I was so worried, like, sometimes the cut-in heels are too shallow for me, so I put in two extra rows before I, I did two rounds and then started the decreases. <laughs> I was like, I didn't have to do that. And then I was like, I was pretty impressed that I was only off by, like, two rows mm -hmm. to make, like, a, a, a really yeah. comfy fit in sock. So this is kind of super fun. It's spiraling around. It's not doing any big pulls. It's still kind of swirling mm -hmm. around. But it kind of, like, you know, mel it, like hangs out for a minute and then starts going again. It looks like the corporals are just climbing. I think some of it has to do with, like, my tension, too. Like It, lo it looks like the purple's just going up steps. Yeah. Um, but it's purple green. This really fun teal. It's the Naked Sock, which is the wool free um, yarn from Universal Yarns. It's actually made in Turkey. Hmm. Um, and I looked up these. This is definitely a yarn that's still in production, and they have lots of other colors. Um, I got two more balls of yarn in there in the other room. This is why they don't have bed. They're in the lime bag that's sitting next to my bed. You're close. <laughs> she doesn't want what you don't want to climb over me no I don't I see how oh, it is no they're in my bedroom on the, in the it's in a legit a lime bag it's a wedge of lime if she locks the door okay, when I leave y'all yeah. deal with this anyway you no know, but I got two more balls of yarn that I'll show you in a, when I make Jenna come back 
<laughs> oh, she's chasing her. Oh, the Riley's chasing her. Okay. So anyway, so this is just one of the balls that was gifted to me. Um, I haven't had any trouble like I did with the last one with the it being cut or anything on the inside. I think I'm going to go a little bit further and then pop in a toe, and then I will cut in a heel. I did um, write down um, changes and measurements from the original pair of socks that I knit for my mom. And um, <clears throat> I did look up this yarn, and I found that this yarn's still around. They have lots of other colors. Um, oh, the colorway in this one, sorry, is color 105. It's called Island Life. Island Life. Which I totally see that because it's like the ocean, like tropical. Love it. Purples. Um, but I found two other. Did you find it? Or the dog eat you? Yeah. Oh, yes. All the things. Ooh, I did put them in there. All right. So then I have some acquisitions. With them. Your line bag was under a scarf. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to keep talking because you, you, you got up and left. So I get to go again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. so. Oh, actually, because it was in the same bag. Um, so my mom actually found this pattern and was like, oh, aren't these super cute? I want to make them. And then my boss at the school that I work for, we have a, a silent auction fair and spring fair in March and um, asked if I would knit something for the auction table. And I was like, oh, i got to find that sweater. It is a watermelon. It's so cute. It is the most adorable thing in the whole entire world. Now, the only trouble with this pattern is that it only comes in zero to three month size. So I need to, yeah, that. so I need to figure out, find a yoke sweater that I can adapt. Um, it is called the Watermelon Sweater, no, I'm sorry, the Watermelon Baby Cardigan by Stitchy Linda. It is on Ravelry. It is a free pattern, and it is absolutely, I mean, can you get over this green? It's perfect. Mm. And you use eyelets to make the watermelon, um, the watermelon seeds, and then I just need to put buttons on it. So cute. Um, and in the pattern she uses just like the little white pearl buttons, so I'm trying to decide if I want to do the white pearl buttons or if I want to get some of the clay and make watermelon seeds. I want you to do watermelon seeds. I kind of want you to do watermelon seeds. That um, was actually what I was about to say. I was like, do you think you could find... <laughs> so she came out with a hat pattern too, and I have enough yarn. They're 50 gram balls of the yarn. And I got enough to make two because I think I might make one for Elizabeth for the baby. So cute. Um, and I have enough of the green left over and the pink, plenty on the pink, to do, this is a whole other green one, but this is from the first ball. <clears throat> another set and a hat. She has a hat pattern too, so that hat is next. And this is called Cotton On Double Knitting by James Brett. I got it from... Knitting I love or knitting.com. I just put in the yarn. Uh, she has it in the pattern. So I put in the yarn and I think it came up from, mm -hmm. there's no tag in here. Either knitting I love or knitting, I think it's knitting.com. It's one of the knitting, one of the knitting, knitting things. So it's 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. Maybe not my favoritist. I mean, it's soft. There's nothing wrong with the feel. But when you're working with it, it's just a little weird. Like the yeah. acrylic cotton blend is weird so I got um but it came out super sweet um gonna be perfect I like the I like the idea that it was cotton especially for like summer a summer yeah and the green hello That's you can't cute. you can't replace that green without doing like a hand dye so we have shade number co1 shade number co20 for the green and the pink is co6 and the, they had a couple different so pinks but this seemed green. to be like a little more watermelony Oh, I love it. Love it. That like makes my mouth water seeing a... those two colors together. So now I A we need this. to figure out how to do that pattern for myself. And my sister wants one for my niece. So could I, you could do they <clears> make <throat> I was like since this was like do they make like crochet or knit um diaper like covers? Because I feel like if you did like a ruffle They do. If you did like a that ruffle would be butt awesome with a ruffle this. butt. It'd be so oh, cute. Oh now I have to find a ruffle butt. <laughs> We right? don't have girls. I'm going to run out of yarn, We don't though. have girls, we don't ha so we're we don't just have girls. <laughs> We have boys, and they can't wear ruffled butt watermelon diaper thing. No, but that would be cute to go with it. Wouldn't that the be cute? I could even get, like, a cotton one, though. Like, a little, even a cotton one, yes. just a white, to go with it. Mm-hmm. Very southern, y'all. But it's a very fun, quick pattern, and it's just a, um, you cast. Oh, now he's doing that on purpose. Cast out. You cast on at the collar, and then you just increase. 
when you get to the, you change color to the white, change color to the green, you cast off a few stitches and then pick right back up and you just go back and forth. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. it came out so cute. I did wash and block it to see if the cotton would relax a little so bit. Cute. So yes, I need to figure out how to make this in bigger sizes for everything from zero to three months to adults. Love Is that going to include the ruffle butt or? <laughs> I'm, it, listen, I could make a very ruffly white skirt would go great with that. Oh, that would be cute. See, okay, I don't want to fold it. It's starting to bend the collar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can go. Oh, okay. Well, time's up. Well then. Um, time's up. I feel like all I really have to do is show yarn. I love it so much. And I like yarn. It. Which, okay, I got this one. Oh, this was from... Uh, we, I need like a little mini hanger. Who was, who was, oh shoot. Ah, uh, she's on Etsy. She was the other <laughs> that one. That could be anyone. I know. The die is cast? Yes. That yes. one. Is that uh, one. Die cast yarn. Oh. I think is what it, it is. <clears throat> I didn't, I kept looking at stuff, but I hadn't gotten, I don't think I'd gotten anything from her. But I kept <laughs> eyeing her stuff. Um, I know I linked it in the thing. The, I think we might, maybe you talked, talked I'll about it. Ah, as so I try and find this. It's just going. Oh, yeah, because I unwanted it because I was changing something. All right, so this is just, I'm making a hat for um, my husband's aunt, and this is. That might be new. Sterling? It's some, ugh, something sterling. I, why didn't I think of this? But um, she had two. Yeah, I'll show it you. One had a bit more uh, teal. It was more, it had teal, whereas this one's more like the teal kind of, it speckles. This is the band. Is this worsted? This is tight. It's. Yeah, it's worsted. No, I like I like that. I like no, the stitch worsted. definition. It's worsted. Um, this the pattern I'm using is from Easy Designs. Oh She's my the one. weed whacker! <laughs> it's it's the it's the blower now. It's the blower. He Podcasting problems. He we planned so it. So sorry, everybody. Um, so this is so pretty, but yeah, it's got. Oh no no no! Shoot, it wasn't that. No, I did do something from Dias Cast Yarns. Cast Yarns. Where's that? It's from Whip Yarns. Stone and oh, oh yes. Stone and sterling. Oh, we're sliding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, this okay. This was um, yeah. Whip yarns. You had Whip tiger yarns. tiger from her. That, that was, was tiger, it. Tiger. Okay. So this yes, is there we go. So I did dies cast out. yarns. And she does have so beautiful yarns. The gray. I was gonna say. I, think, is, I thought this, this was a new yarns. one. With the no, pops of turquoise. It is new. Yeah, and um, but it's stone and sterling. She had another one that I was looking at because I was trying I to find that something gray. that, like, fit with, um, what my, like, because my husband's aunt was just like, can you make me a hat? Um, and I was like, <gasps> okay. Brad so. asked you to make him something? No, my husband's aunt. Oh. Does this look like something Brad would wear? Yes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you I just know? thought it was nice because Eric asked me to make him one thing and then he complained about it the entire time. Brad just said you can make me socks. I can't promise I'll wear them, but you can make them. Oh, that was kind of his idea. He's not a hat person. He's not a hat. He has enough hair for everybody. He doesn't yeah, he hat. doesn't need a hat. His the hat would it would poof oh, out. See, my it hearing is work. messed up because of my congestion. But um, so but so it's whip yarns. Uh, so necessarily she's but she had another one that had more. What's the um, color name? It's Stone and Sterling. Stone and Sterling. They had another one that was um, more, it had more teal in it, but I was like, if she wants something a bit more subtle, because I just basically sent her. And there her, were two different colorways? Yeah, or? there was there was two different colorways, and um, and so I was trying to, uh, it's, it's difficult, because then when you sit there and someone's like, can you make me something, and they don't really know yarn. Or what they're looking for, um, you You're babbling. You have to, yeah. You have to kind of, um, you have to. It's but it's it yeah, is difficult. Yeah, you have to interpret. What you they have want. to interpret. You have to look at the person, interpret what they want, <laughs> figure out what color would work best with the way they dress. Like it's almost like a personality fix. And she also didn't. She didn't have a pattern in mind. She just wanted me to make her hat. So that's what happened. Was I got lucky. And Easy Designs on Etsy had a sale where she was doing fifty percent off all of her patterns. Yes. Yeah. So I went and bought bought like five <laughs> <laughs> because that's what you do when there's a sale. You just and buy who, it. Who was that? Oh, uh, that was um, Easy Designs. Easy, easy, easy Designs. Design. She's on Etsy too? Crochet, She's on Etsy. Crochet. Yeah, Whip Yarns at Stone and Sterling. And mm -hmm. then um, that was, oh, uh, double check. The Easy Design. The Easy Design. The Easy Design. So I got like three, ha 
three and it was similar to the two... one I made for Eric's aunt, where it was like a ribbed, mm -hmm. and then it had like a stockinette. But then that yeah. one uses like some bobble stitch. Which... I'm doing the. I'm gonna be doing the Isabel. There's an. She has. She has. An, this, I think it's the Isabel design that I was looking at. The Isabel beanie hat pattern is what I'm going to be doing. This is just the hat band, but I mean you can. It's just. You can see like the slight variation, despite the fact I love you, you kind of think it's just like gray and teal it's just a bit more subtle it's it's like if i was okay if i was if i was making a hat for you mm -hmm. and i was using these colors i would have definitely have gone with the more teal. the more teal mm -hmm. but no, but i think that's gorgeous no, it's, and it's pretty like, it's just enough fun pop of color but you know and that's what i mean it's just like i might remember this one because um my sister-in-law jessica her mom wants me to make her a shawl and she mm -hmm. loves that like peacock Greeny yeah. teal. So, but she wanted it with grays. But this would be really pretty to do like in a lace part, and then do that peacock as like a bowl. Oh yeah, that's that one true. Would go good with it. Yeah. But that's it's kind of I don't know. It's one of those things where, uh, you know, people ask people ask you to do projects, and sometimes when they don't have something in mind, you have <clears> to like search through everything until you find something. Yeah, that makes you think of that them. That works. And sorry for babbling because I was trying to. I know you know I'm busting your cracker. I, it was just it's it's I'm busting your it's, cracker. It's just one of those things, especially when there's so much. Like I did that when I because I was making the three scar. I have three scarves that I was in the pro process of making that I was hoping to get done before winter, but that's not going to happen. Um, before winter ends, uh, yeah, it's already spring. Yeah, I know. The spring is here. I had to do all that other stuff, so it, it put that pushed that back. But it's fine. I mean, but now you have a little extra spending cash for more yarn. <laughs> there you go but um but i literally i went to <laughs> hobby lobby and i just stood in the middle of the thing and looked at all the yarn and was thinking of the people i was making the scars for and going which one matches what personality and and which one do i go with this and then like i did like four different patterns because i kept going back and forth i can't count how many times i like took apart projects because i was like this does not look like this person at all when to do her fade? Fade. Okay. I fell into my fade. This is my project bag that you gave me. It mm -hmm. has my fade in it. I don't know how long it's gonna fit in the fade. But <laughs> I do have three skeins of yarn in here. This is the retold yarns with all of my retold yarns. This is one of the project bags. My Harry Potter bag. Thank you. What's this? You and I me. have found my fade, and I have officially imparted the whale tail. Song <laughs> Every, everyone posts their song. They start. Is that what they call it? Yeah, it looks like a like a whale's tail. Like I mean, it does. Thing. Yeah, it's just... but when you just have this little like the first part, it mm. like looks like a thong. <laughs> it's gonna be ginormous when it's done, and it will never ever look like a thong. Again. That's the back side. Okay, so here's the front. This is the Find Your Fade by Andrea Maori. And I had a whole bunch of single skeins of yarn, and in my head I was like, I'm going to do a blue shawl, and I'm going to do this, like... I, I started collecting these, like, pinks and mauves, which mm -hmm. I didn't mean to. It just happened. Um, I do a lot of trades with Robin for bags and stuff, so I do have a lot of teeny button yarns, and, of course, when I see something I have to have, I, I'll buy it, but... Um, so I don't have a huge collection, mm -hmm. and I had them all out of my bed, and I'm like, oh, what if I went from blue to pink? I have enough to do a find your fade, like a solid find your You've fade. You've been talking about doing that I know, for I, like years. A while. Forever, ever. Yeah. So I did it, and I'm so excited. Um, I cast it on, I don't know if I started it in the blue. I, start, I did start it in the blue. I'll show you the three colors I'm going to start with, and I'll put a picture mm. up of all of the colors that I've chosen. But um, I only have the first three here. And then I realized that I wanted it to go... Um, let me see if I can pick them up. I wanted it to go... The speckle, light speckle into the blue, mm. into the darker bluey, like browny gray. So the first color is Mooney by um, <laughs> Little Bean Loves. And this is Kayleen up in Massachusetts, one of my besties. So this is her Mooney colorway. Uh, it's got pops of green really and navy blue. It's like kind of like a limey acid green. I love it when it comes up. And there's uh, like a navy blue, which kind of melds into the yarn and gets lighter spots. And then this is like little warm chocolate, like blips of this warm chocolate brown in there. So that I've had that one for a while, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And then this one is... Um, Akara Yarns, and um, this is from Rose, and she's out of Canada, and this is from a swap that we did um, 
Well, we get your wishes granted, and I oh, sent yeah, her. So I, I made her some bags, some quilt quilt style bags, which I want to do more of those. And oh, I, I haven't I been sewing. That. Yeah, um, they were like the faded, air, yes. like the like the airline tickets and stuff. They came out so cute. That was, um, I love those. Her, her yarns are gorgeous. So this is her merino sock fingering weight, eighty twenty, and the um, Kayleen's is seventy five twenty five merino nylon. Um, this is his twenty nylon. Um, so that's roses, and she's out of Canada. And then I go into my teeny button yarn, and this is Mooney and Padfoot. So this is the Harry Potter Ooh. coming full circle. Nice. And this is on her soft sock, which is a seventy-five twenty-five. So, um, but I had Mooney. I knew I needed Mooney and Padfoot, and then hello, that is the blue. That is the blue in all of them. Which I think I might need to get like another one of these later because I want to do um, something with just this color. This is her navy. Sorry, this is her navy color, and it is like this is the color of my heart. Like my like I love like it, this is like when I think of like the perfect it's, ocean it's blue. It's a beautiful blue. This is it. This is it. So oh, it makes me so happy, and I'm so excited to be using all the yarns that are going to be in here. And I won't lie to you. Well, the next four are Teeny Button Studios. <laughs> next three, yeah, the next three colors. Um, there's the brown, it's which is will be her um, um, chicory. Mm -hmm. uh, which is a lighter, I think an earlier, lighter version of her chicory. And then I have cheesecake on a stick. And then I have um, tea with Hagrid. Mm -hmm. And then I have my very last one that's going to go in is my hedgehog fibers that Amy brought me back from Ireland when she went, which I is more that. of the, the yeah. reds. So the, after this, it goes into browns, into the cheesecake on a stick is pink and brown. And then Hagrid's is more mauvies. And then it goes, oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. So I have one more repeat um, section on the lace, which will be another two rows of eyelets. And then I have a little bit more of the um, pattern stockinetti section, and then I meld into the blue. So this first color isn't going to use much of this. So I'm kind of thinking, like, I want to make, like, a, a cowl or maybe a smaller shawl with all of them afterwards and, like, blend it into something small. You can do what I'm, what was it, what I'm doing. You want to talk about Harry Potter stuff? The um, don't do that with your shawl. Uh, no, 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 because because like remember I have this because I told you I wanted to use these. Your back. For um. Oh, because uh, I wanted to do the cosmic cowl. I could, I could crochet something. Dang, but look, <clears throat> cosmic um, the cosmic cowl, but all of these are teeny button. And might have a problem, y'all. They're all. Uh, That's what happens when you? They're. When they're you have all really good friends <laughs> nearby that dye yarn. This she was the first like dye yarn, but and and they um, they're all the Harry Potter, Harry, uh, Harry, oh, Harry. And she's doing a year long, Teeny Button Robin from Teeny Button is in her Ravelry group, the Teeny Button Ravelry group. She's doing a year long make along, knit or crochet, and you have to use either one of her yarns. In a Harry Potter theme pattern, or a Harry Potter theme yarn in any pattern. Well, here we go. Done. Robin, you can just send us the prize now, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> there are four, four or five no, yarns. Three of them. Yeah, Harry I was Potter gonna use the cosmic cosmic cowl, oh, and I was because I've been trying to figure out what to do with the yarn, but they're all. Um, this one's Aurora Sinistera. This one's Acromantula. For the life of me, I cannot remember what that one's called. Night bus. There you go. How did you remember that? Because I remember random things. That's <laughs> you're right. That is my bus. Oh yeah, it's gotta go that way because it's got that's pink, pink. Yeah, and then I was gonna um, I was yeah. I do like I do like the green in the middle though. Well, what no? What I was gonna yes. Okay, what I was gonna do is I was gonna I think edge with the um, Selena like start it off with then, the sparkle, then go into this, make that in the middle, and then go back into this, and then end with that purple. So it's like sandwiched. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, Anora Sinestra, which is one of her fleeting foxes, so this yes. was a, a once. Yeah, that was, I think it was. A one-off. Yeah, it was. That's her, uh, yeah, she calls them fleeding foxes. I was thinking I was teasing her because playing. I was like, I like that. She goes, this is a fleeting fox, so it will never be blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm getting it. Oh, but it's got, look, it's got some of the, the um, yellowies in it, too. Yeah. Isn't that great? So, that'll pop, that'll blend in with so this. I was, so, I want to start with the, but I thought it'd be great to and do. this one's Acromantula. That's Acromantula. And it's much, it's, that's better. Look, it matches the, 
Please. Oh, look at that. And then this is night bus. That's night bus. And so I was going to use those and I was going to make, try and do, yeah. it's it's sock yarn. The Cosmic Cow is not made with sock yarn, but <clears> she put <throat> it, I could double it up yeah. and do it that way. And I'm not going to use, I'm going to do the smaller size. Cause I'll have to look it up too. I have no, you but would this really is a crochet like pattern, Cosmic Cow. Yes, crochet. it's a crochet pattern. Um, so I was like, oh, the there we go. Perfect. Because I've been look, I've been, I've been like going back and you know, forth on stuff. I have on something some that's spooky lighter, to me. I have some lighter purples that go into like a, some bright purples. Amy brought me back a couple that were from Ireland. Oh yeah? That I haven't quite figured out what to do yet, but you go to a crochet gradient cowl with them, kind of put them. Ooh, that would be nice. That would be nice. That would be fun. I always forget about the crochet. I always think blankets or hats. I have to get my mind out of that. There's a ton of stuff you can do with crochet. No, I know. You are limiting I yourself. I have. You are limiting. I, I can't. Limiting myself. I can't do anything with but crochet. Myself. So I keep. That was it because when you were asking me how I found all these like new. Because um, you open your eyeballs and look. Yarn people and I was like that's because I can't just I can't work with sock yarn so yeah. like all, she she can use the people that have sock yarn but I can't just work with sock yarn so I have to basically go in and go, hand dyed worsted yarn. Let's see what pops up, and then, like, I go through. What's nice is that means I, like, find different people that, like, don't necessarily have so many sales on on yeah, Etsy like the, and the stuff small, like that. And so, small but have, shops. like, but have great, like, sense of yarn. Like, yeah. I think this is one of them. Yes. Spindle warped yarn on Etsy. Look and, at and that. And as gorgeous as it is right here. Oh, you were showing me this earlier. It makes look me so happy. Look how oh my pretty. Gosh. Oh, look, I even got it, like, right down the middle. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can offset it a little bit. There you go. <laughs> this is so cool. Isn't that lovely? Wicked. So, so I was doing, so I'm going to just in time for St. Patrick's Day, except it's going to be a, I'm going to make it into um, a hat for my, like my, my, um, my let's see I just want to, for my um my I don't know what you call it my husband's cousin's daughter I don't know what you call that <laughs> it's a family member she's obsessed with rainbows she's obsessed with unicorns and she was she came up to me when I was working on something during because this is what I do family occasions I sit on a couch watch the kids and I crochet because this oh, needs antisocial. A honking bright colored pom pom. On top I know, of right? I'm trying to figure that one out. Or maybe just like gonna a do bright like, it's gonna white be like, like it's gonna be it. like rainbow going all the way around. I know. That's what I was trying to. That's figure what out. you need to like, do a cluster pattern with that, so you can get ooh, like yes. swatch it and see how many clusters you can get, so you can do like red, orange, yellow. So they'll go right. Yeah, in the I row. know. I really want to see how that one how it works up. It's so so okay, um, so who is this again? Uh, spindle warps yarn. Spindle warps on. Etsy. She's got some really pretty stuff. She uses a lot of bright colors. Like, well. Yeah, there was a pink one with lime green. I was like, yes. that make awesome socks. She has yeah. one called, um. I'm really into watermelons right now. Maleficent. She has one called Maleficent, which is just bright green, black, and bright purple, I think. Well, that's a, your alley. <laughs> Kira would like that, too. Kira loves the neons. Yeah, I mean, she's got some impressive coloring in there. So that was, it was a lot of fun. And I like, I like this. Um, it's soft, too. It's very nice. Very squishy. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy with that, and I can't wait to work with that, since I can now. I Just so nobody's time. disappointed. I wasn't lying. It's a wedge of lime. Look at that. And it's a lunch bag. It's insulated. I have a lemon one that's, like, huge. <laughs> that uh, It's got Mickey's on it, because my mother-in-law got it from Disney. Okay, so here's a spoiler. Mom, Spoiler. <laughs> um, this is the first yarn I company that I knit my mom a pair of non-wool socks out of. This is also from Turkey. This is Plymouth yarn, and I found this on webs. This is from the webs.com. Um, mm. um, the purple one is color 0005, and these make like a big stripe and then a little stripe, if I remember correctly. I did my mom's socks out of them. Yeah. They were blue, like a sailor, like a um, colonial blue is what I think. Like Almost like this pattern. They were blue mm -hmm. and white. And then I made Sean a pair, and then I got these turquoise -y teal. Wow, those are really not showing pretty mm -hmm. much better. 
Um, and this one is zero zero like, zero it four. It kind of matches the backdrop yeah. there. But um, <clears throat> so this has got like a little bit of a green, white, navy. Light. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see how these work up. But I just wanted to have a couple more. I went through all the box that I had, and then the lady who had sent me um, the surprise box, uh, there was a whole bunch of yarns in there, and I thought they were all wool free. And there's some there are cottons, but they don't have any stretch. So I think maybe, they, but they're fingering weight, so they need to be like a lace hmm. lace fingering weight something. But I don't think socks is the best use for that because they didn't have no, any give. They don't have any give. Um, but they're pretty pastel colors. And then there was two others, which um, are a wool blend. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to try. I'll, I'll just make socks for myself out of them. Let's see what happens. Throw them on the pile. <laughs> so these are socks to come. No, no time frame on these. Uh, oh, we've been making the perler things with the kids. Aww. We're making luggage tags out of these. Just you tie them mm -hmm. on the luggage, so when you you know your suitcase comes around and so it's you know black like yours. everybody else's, you be like, ah, mine's the one with the lime or the watermelon on. Yeah, my husband did it. He just wrapped the handle in duct tape. Yeah, and Eric, that was how he. Did Eric that. did it with like rope. And then this is my big gift. I used all my Christmas money. I was saving up to do something. Like a lot of little things or one big thing, and I decided to do one big thing, and I got myself the red lace set chow goo needles. Mm. And this is the small set. It goes from size two to size eight. Complete S and L. Um, so this is the small the small size. There's there is a mini twist I think which is sock sizes like you'll get like size one, a few sets of ones and one and a half. So it comes with this nice little case. I have these must be the sixes. These are the sixes here. I just finished the That's watermelon lovely. sweater and I have the fours out for my shawl, my find your fade. Um, it comes with three cables and it's got room on the other side to go all the way up um, from a 9 to a 15 which is nice so you could buy the you can just buy the tips if you wanted to as you go and then it's got extra pockets kind of in front of each so I guess if you wanted to get a second set um, on both sides as extra pockets in the front um, and it came with here's a bag that's one of the neat I'm like hanging this I'm holding this other one like cord so it comes with three <laughs> cords one is on my shawl I can tell you the sizes in a second. It came with a little ruler gauge, um, the tools to tighten it, and some little stoppers if you need to take something off the needle, off the mm. off the cable. You can put a stopper on it so your knitting doesn't fall off the cable. And some stitch markers. And so far I am loving it. I haven't quite sorted out how to use the, there's a little tool to help tighten the needles on the ends, but I just find the whole thing a little slippery, so... They stay together pretty well, but they have been untwisting a little bit, so I think I need to figure that out. Um, the cable size that comes with the small set. That's hmm. the 5-inch tips. And I think... Cable connectors. What does it say the cable? Oh, cable small. No, that's not right. That's the full set. Sorry, everybody. I know everyone's like, oh my god, what is she going to say? <laughs> okay, the six... Edge of seat. Says cable legs from 8 inch to a 50. That's not helping. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anywho. I'm sorry. You're fine. No, I'm so sad. Anyway, um, I'm really liking it. I've used three or four of the um, the needles already for different projects. And um, it's great. Like, you could just whip off a cord or whip out the needles. I even did, like, a cast off, I, and I just ne needed a bigger needle, so I just grabbed the next size needle to do the edging on the watermelon as I cast it off so it wouldn't be too tight. Um, so I, I think I probably will get a couple extra cords. You get three cords, small, medium, large. I think the biggest one's, like, a 30... 32 and then with the two it's a 30 something and with the two 5 inch needles you have like a 40 inch I've got to start stitch. knitting because I am lost yeah. so this 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 has been great I've been wanting one of these for a while I it's love the chow goose um, super pretty I think 
as I've been buying needles, unless it's a bigger size and it doesn't, you know, and it's, I can't get a chow goo quick enough because, you know, cause sometimes you just need it right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm trying to buy, I like the chow goos. I've been enjoying them. So I've been oh, yeah? trying to buy the chow goo needles as I get new needles in. I have t like a whole bucket of straights, but there's not many projects you just use straight needles for. I what find would you this, use I use the, for? The, the ones with the cords are much more. Yeah. Um, I mean, what would you use the straight needles for? Scarf. That's it? Face cloth. Face cloth. <laughs> You could you could do Dish garments rack. garments things that you're gonna piece together like but uh, you'd still need really long ones if you're doing like a front panel of a sweater that's or something true. so um that's really so I, I like the cords I like the cords and I like the magic loop method better than the DPNs the DPNs get a little too um, too many needles overlapping and in the way but I think for like crown decreases on a hat that I like the DPNs better than magic loop oh my goodness. It's just easier to read the knitting sometimes without too many stitch markers. I guess that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. I thought I had to actually do a knitting project to get that. It's February. I need yeah. to start on something. Because yes. if I don't start on something, it's going to be like... Well, I think in the summer... In November, and I'll just be like... When the kids are out of school, then we can have some like actual sit-down play dates. Oh, I guess that's true. You'd actually be... Oh, because... And, yeah. Because, man, what was it? I was doing something completely wrong. Oh, I was wasn't going under or something so it just ended up instead of going down it was just folded on each other because they kept looping it around i can't remember what it was yeah you were... yes i remember yeah and i was like i don't know what <laughs> you were doing. making like a tube out of whatever you were doing because you were looping the yarn it was special yeah that was, that was some good that was some quality some quality she's like what are you oh i see what like, you're doing yeah. I'm like, like, how did you do that? That's here. the best thing about teaching someone how to net, and they're like, look what I did. Like, you were telling us about your friend who was yeah. like, I had this string that was, I was like, I don't in the know. middle of the knitting. That's I think it's to be one of the things, but the thing is, is like, you don't realize, like, <laughs> I sit there, and I'm like, I'm thinking, because I'm trying to remember, and I was like, was, how difficult was it for me to learn to crochet? Like, was I a frustrating student? You can be 100% honest with me. No, you weren't a frustrating student. I think you were harder on yourself. <laughs> then uh, you know I, whatever you do wrong isn't I don't care but um, no I mean it took you a little time to kind of get into it and get comfortable and be able to read you gotta be able to read your work yeah and then true. once you get to a point when you can do that and that clicks mm -hmm. then you can start designing your own patterns yeah. it also makes a bit of difference once you actually start being able to read the patterns or you know right. what certain things are but I still remember like going what do they mean by back loop yeah, and you're like, yeah, you you message me be like, what is a back loop? I don't understand what they're talking what about. What is a back post? What do they mean the third post stitch thing what? post? What is this? I don't even understand. What is what's an going HDC? <laughs> it's a different language, and then the knitting is similar style, but another language. Like you're learning. Which was that was one of the things because when I started knitting, I was like, I can't read these patterns and 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 i completely like it doesn't even cross my mind that like when i first started crocheting i couldn't read patterns because i just it's i can kind of get it now like i know the basics well enough. you don't read them now you just do whatever you want it's, and well i do them wrong and then realize i don't mean to be yawning i'm trying to keep my voice here but um you're not keeping me awake i just didn't put any makeup on but like the ed <laughs> like ed like going on edges and turning and stuff like that like i think I was trying. I was trying to um, help my sister in law learn to crochet, and like I was, I was explaining it. I'm like, okay, chain one, turn, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And this is this is how you do it. Go through now, yeah. pull, um, all this other stuff. And she's doing, she's doing single crochet, which was what you started out. You said here, do single crochet, and then I got bored. <laughs> And I was like, I want to do something else. Yeah, what, what's next? And what's then I next? think I started doing the shell stitch. That was what happened. Yeah, that's you when just, I made you that were blanket. just like, oh, I got that. I was like, I don't want to do the single crochet I'm gonna, anymore. I'm going to do, do something this. else. But you, you're so funny because you're like, I'm just going to do this pattern. <laughs> and you did like the star blanket. Like, which is fine. I'm going to try this. <laughs> Let's see what happens. How do you work in the round? Yeah. And it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just... I think uh, the thing about crochet, I think it's easy to, obviously to chain is the easiest mm -hmm. thing you can yeah. do. So, so casting on and starting a project is actually very easy. I think the second, the trickiest part is working into that chain yeah. because it's a little slippery. Mm -hmm. But 
getting started in crochet is way easier, I think, than getting started in knitting because if you can get past that cast on row and mm -hmm. knitting, you can do anything. With casting you on, You can do man. anything. And to know what type of cast on you need for the project is tricky, too, because if it's a ribbing, you need something that's going to really give with it and stretch. But if it's just a flat panel, you don't want something with that much stretch because then your your mm -hmm. edges, it's... So if you can cast on the right ca type of cast on for knitting, you can do anything. Crochet, the getting started is the easy part. It's keeping your edges just straight. straight. Cause oh read my it, gosh. being able to read it and know where that last stitch is, so you're not stitching into the side of it and making mm -hmm. it bigger. Or you have that. Some people have the problem where they're missing the last stitch, so your, mm -hmm. your work starts getting. Well, it all depends on whether or not you're working into the chain, like that chain one or whatever it is. Because yeah. some patterns you do that, some yeah. patterns you don't. And yeah. And you sometimes to, it's counted as a stitch, and sometimes, sometimes it's, it's not. not. And sometimes, like you just legitimately have to guess. And sometimes I usually now I always don't count it. I'll just, I don't count it as a stitch anymore. See, I've had it somewhere unless, they're like... Unless in certain things where it's making a design. I've had it where they say and work you, into the top chain of the... Yeah. I've had patterns that have said that. <clears throat> well, you know what? In the chevron pattern for that blanket, you did count it as a stitch because you chain like four and it counts as a stitch in like a chain one. Mm -hmm. That In that situation, I would. But if you're just going back and forth, like say in double crochet and you chain up four... Yeah. I don't count that as a stitch. I will still double mm -hmm. crochet in that first stitch, and that's just an edge. Yeah, that, um, and that's kind of where I think it, it gets into it, is being able to look at the work and go, I decreased here, I increased here, oh, I see where I missed a stitch here, wait, mm -hmm. this isn't what I'm supposed to end with, and then being able to go back and find it, but... I just, it's one, isn't it's, it, like, thrilling, though, when you, like, find your mistake, and you're like, I did it, I figured it out, and then you're like, crap! <laughs> It's all now the way I have down. to fix that. Now yeah. I have to fix it. Now I have to fix and it. And I still remember what I did something, and I can't remember what it was. And I sent you a mess. I sent you a message or something, and I was just like, "Is this noticeable, or is it just gonna drive me nuts?" Because if it's if it's not noticeable to anybody who didn't actually do this, then then I'm not gonna go back. Because I think it was so far right. back, and like I was like, I can fix it. I can figure it out, so I get back on track. But should I actually just go back and anymore? Can get. And fix that. And you were just like, mm, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just let it go. Just let, let it go. She's like, unless it's going to bother you more than everybody else. And then you ripped it back. You probably I did. I met you. But I do that too. There's a lot of things that I'm like, you some, just can't. sometimes the thing with knitting is you can drop down just a single stitch row. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> like in the column. Mm -hmm. You can't do that with crochet. It's, mm. I'm out of tea. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's <laughs> it's nuts. But I think that's the thing is because, like, I don't think, and I think that was the thing where I was like, I don't know if I'm actually able to teach someone how to crochet, even as I, like, sit and kind of go through it. Because I don't know if maybe at this point it just seems self-explanatory to me, so it's hard for me to, it's like math, you know, when someone tells you to teach addition, and you're like, how do you, or, or something that you do in your head, or like teach multiplication, or teach like stuff that yeah. you know you just do in your head right. and you don't think about it. Right, it's like like the five tables. You know, <laughs> I got that. But if you ask me six times eight, I'm done. <laughs> we got that one. So I mean, that's I don't know. That's pretty much it. Where I just kind of I kind of go through and I wonder, and then I don't I can't count how many people I find out. I found out apparently the guy that that I, that's my uh, music director where I sing. He, cro he used to crochet. He told me, he goes, I'm li I live vicariously through your Instagram because I love seeing all your projects. I was like, really? Because I always feel bad for people to follow me because if they don't appreciate right, yarn they're not, yeah. or, so or they're crocheting, just like, they're, they're, just just, they're not getting my life. They're getting <laughs> a normal citizen. <laughs> they're just getting a bunch of yarn. Um, and he's like, no, I used to crochet. I'm like, really? And then I'll talk to somebody else and they'll be like, oh, no, I... I I kind of did crochet for a bit, and it's like they either, they gave it up because they, they couldn't get past a certain point, mm -hmm. or because they, I guess they wouldn't branch out to better, pro like, yeah. to more complicated projects. They didn't feel comfortable <clears throat> going into that area, which, I mean, you kind of, granted, I jumped in, like, with all feet, because I was like, I don't want to yeah. do single crochet, I'm going to do a shell stitch baby blanket. Yeah. Okay, and I want to do I'm this do. now. But I'm that's what do you that. have to do. I want to do this now. Next. Well, that's mm -hmm. what I am with the blankets. Like, I want to do a different stitch or a different pattern every time. Mm -hmm. So, 
You kind of have to. That's all, but that's that's always the problem because if my all my boys want a blanket or something like that, I it's like I feel like I have to do three different patterns because otherwise I'm just gonna be driving myself nuts. Yeah. But they don't all necessarily want different patterns. That's when you change up the colors. Yeah, right. They still yeah. what was it? They still um they still have those small star blankets that I never got to finish. That's okay. And they still sleep with them. Oh, so now they're their stuffed animal blankets. They put them over their stuffed animals. See, that's what the girls do. If we had girls, they would just have doll blankets. This is true. You have... Instead of the know, T-Rex. The T-Rex blanket. T-Rex yeah. blanket. Yep. Or the slug, which Brendan has. Brendan got... I don't even... That's all I can think. He caught this weird, like, furry thing at the St. Patrick's Day Parade last year. And it's green and white striped. And... It's just a long... There, it doesn't have eyes. It's just... It's like this. Well, you gotta make it eyes. No, it's like this. It. It's just... It looks like a slug, kind of. So that's what they call it. They, we have I have no we idea what that thing. It's a furry armadillo. thing. Oh, really? <laughs> how can you not buy that? We were, I think we were in Texas. I was like, how do you not buy it? You need a... I mean, come on. So that it's was a it. stuff, It's not a stuffed armadillo. It's a stuffed animal armadillo. So like, we had that because it, it got a hole in it. So Brennan brings it to me and goes, can you sew this for me? Because he didn't want to slow. <laughs> he didn't want to sleep without it. He sleeps. Like, it's cur he curls up with it. But it's legitimately <laughs> Mom, just like a Mom, you fix slug. my eyeless slug? Oh my God, that's awesome. I don't even know what it is. That's what I want to know. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. It's like a stuffed animal, but it has no animal characteristics. <laughs> so I'm like, who it. sold this? Yeah. And decided to throw it right. to a three-year-old kid. I don't know. I don't think I have anything else. I don't have anything else. I showed off pretty much everything as far we as We have I our know. shirts. We do. We have these. I did show off my legs. Your legs. Just the one leg, actually. Just the one leg. Your legs have... I have masks. masks. Well, you put your foot I'm gonna in get... my face. Do it. Do Bop. it. I want to see the dancing feet. Woo! That's up. Your Here feet don't smell for the record. Let me see the Oh, come on. Stop showing off your ballet moves, all right? I'm not I almost showing fell off, off the anything. chair into the wall when I did it. I'm trying to... Okay. The masks are like Ooh, it in all. We got our way. Laissez Le Bon Ton Crochet. Trademark? Not really. That's how you pronounce it. If you're from <laughs> Massachusetts living in New Orleans. <laughs> let the, it said, let the good times roll. Let the good times Let's crochet. Crochet. Which, there's no, like there's nothing that has that on there. I didn't realize that. I expected to, like, put that into Instagram and, like, find it somewhere. It's not anywhere. Sorry, so. here first. <laughs> From her friend that makes shirts. Yeah. <laughs> she's on Instagram. She does, she's, she's Vinylicious. Vinylicious. What a great name, huh? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So she, yeah, she does a bunch of stuff, but yeah, I was, I sent a message to go, can you do this? While well, everyone just thinks I'm nuts and my husband looks at me funny. I told her message to me like, glitter, no glitter. I'm like, glitter. <laughs> she wants to do oh, it like glitter. this. And my, I'm like, I'm like, I know what I'm going to do. I still remember Brad, Brad, the look on Brad's face. And I was like, I want to do this. And he just goes, you would. And went back to his computer. He's and like, you messaged me and you're like, I want to do this. And I'm like, I want one too. <laughs> Getting these for us. Yes. Yes, you are. It worked out great. Now I actually have Mardi Gras themed stuff because I own no... This was this is probably the first time I've ever actually had anything Mardi Gras themed. I didn't have any Mardi Gras pants. And now because I got snowballs, I have like all the time pants. There's some there you are, right? Pants. Yep. I guess technically I, I can say these are New Orleans. Time, we? Yeah, we mentioned it. wearing leggings, I think, and this. But The difference between snowballs and slushies. Snow yes, yeah, snowballs and slushies. And uh, snowballs, slushies, snow cones. There's like, it's, it's just, it's ice, but it's such different ice. I don't understand. It's shaved. It's like, yeah. It's, yeah, that's what it is. It's shaved. It's not, yeah, the sl sl slushies are just like little balls of ice. Yeah. And then. No, uh, we don't need to do this again. They already heard this car. This is true. We, oh, I don't know why we're discussing yeah, this that, again. That, that has already right. happened. But she has this. Yeah, she has all the time. They have fleur de <clears throat> on them. They're super cute. Mine has fleur de and masks. I don't know if I could get away with wearing these more than once, but I probably will just because. Totally should anyway. I like them. Yeah, they're fun. Jazz they're fest. They're That's true. They're very mm -hmm. masquerading. Mm -hmm. Jazz fest. This is true. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm we got Mardi Gras ahead of us, and we're leaving town. Yes, you are. You're staying in town. You're leaving. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, in my house. <laughs> Half of New Orleans is going to Disney, so y'all have true. fun. Half of my class is going to Disney. Y'all have fun. <laughs> I told one of them, like, will you just bring Miss Lynn a pencil? Like, I don't want you to buy me, like, you know, don't buy me something. I'm like, but get me a pencil that pencil? says Disney on it. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, that's the thing. It's like someone, my, uh, they, they, what was it? Every, 
But nobody else gets the two days off. Like, Louisiana and Mobile are the oh, only Monday, places Tuesday, that do that. Yeah. They do, Mobile does Monday, Tuesday off. I didn't know, like, they did a week off. We have the whole week. Year. Yeah, we have the whole week off. Well, it's kind of like spring break, but it moves with Mardi Gras. So sometimes it's in February, sometimes it's in March. But we have Really? Because I found sometimes they do spring break where it starts on... Because uh, up north they do spring break in February. Do they? Mm-hmm. And then they have April vacation. They used to just do... Like, what, actually they'd no start it, They started on Good... We always had it where they started on Good Friday, and then the week after would be off. Well, yeah, that was April, what April was. vacation. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. But that we well, called we that spring break. Off. Yeah. Yeah, now I think they, they might just do the four days. I don't know. What are y'all's holidays? Everybody yeah. thinks we're nuts. I mean, granted, we're in New Orleans. Yeah. So I guess... Crazy New Orleans holidays. Eric These doesn't people. get it off because he works out of Florida a lot, so yeah. And so he has to request it off. Yeah. And every what was it? Everybody's upset because their ladders are getting moved from Canal Street or St. Charles or something. Are they moving them back or taking them away? They're taking them away. Did you hear people are spray painting for their spots? No, they. That's why they're cracking down on it because they're. They say people are putting their it's ladders serious down. Serious business. Dude, they people camp out for this stuff and they. What was it? They said, you're supposed to keep, I don't know, ladder chairs. They're just like, yeah. people put seats on top of them, or they stand on the ladder so that they're at eye level with the floats. Yeah, but they were putting them up against the road. Which you you're not allowed to back do. for the kids. They have to be six feet back. Some serious rules. Mm-hmm. People, there's, so, there's somebody that... And they're putting them up. They're put, that puts a couch out on the neutral ground. Yeah, they're getting rid the of weekend. that. They're getting rid of that stuff. They're saying if, pits. if this stuff is out... Um, overnight. If it's out overnight, it's getting thrown away. They go out and they take everything down. They took pictures and stuff of people <sighs> getting upset because they, they had to go. People were putting tarps down. People like, were Well, putting, a tarp is different. A tarp isn't a couch in a barbecue That's bit. true. But they were, like, doing tarps, <clears throat> ladders. Some, a lot of people. We used to go steps, down. Ladders. And Heather would go out in the morning because she's on the route. Mm-hmm. And she'd put down, like, our chairs. Like, just lay them on the ground. Like, she'd not set them up. Mm-hmm. Like, put our chairs down and lay a ladder down. And by the time we got back, there was 20 people in front of us. But still, it's like 20 people deep by the time the parade comes anyway. Yeah, so. usually. But these are, the, what happens is, is it, <clears throat> and it's, chairs are different, though. Like, the yeah. ladders are a bit, and right up this along This is why we road. haven't taken the kids uptown at all. It's crazy. No. It is adult parading. It's, That's. It's, the beginning of the parade route is families, and more towards the mm-hmm. French Quarter is more, you know, groups of single people or yeah. couples, but, um... It's not really kid friendly down there because a lot of it is fenced and gated off mm-hmm. too. Um, but as I've been cracked in the head with a bag of beads. Dude, it hurts. I almost got a concussion. We have not I, taken I literally, the kids. We like, took I the kids to when they down. were two to a day parade. And we had a bunch of friends in town, and we've not been back uptown. We parade around here. There's parades in our neighborhood that go on for two weeks before. So it's See, you know. I went to Bacchus by Harrah's. This was like when Brad and I. I think we were. Date and we were might have been engaged. I'm lucky to still know you. And I got like a huge. I don't even know. I was. I think I turned around to say something to Brad, and all of a sudden I felt this massive just smack on my head. And it was a huge bag of beads. And I had to sit down because yeah. the thing was heavy. And these people like they throw this stuff, especially towards that end because they're l- drunk. Man, by the end of the parade, mm-hmm. y'all, those those friends are drunk. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the. Mm. I I don't mind the ladder chairs. I don't like it when people put them up against the road because what happens is people can't. You can't get in front of them, and then or it it like makes a barrier. Yeah. So it's but then it's like there's twenty people back that can't see the floats. Yeah, they can't see the floats. The floats can't see them, and like if you're, they can't. Because people do walk up yeah. to the floats they're, to get they're stuff. They're meant to be for children to sit on mm-hmm. and be up high where adults can reach, and children are adult level. Yeah. But some people just... And they chain them together, too. That's a new thing. Yeah. They've been chaining them together so, like... People can't walk through them So and you can't them. walk through them and stuff like that. But that's what they're doing. Like, they literally went down the street and just started throwing ladders in the back of... The city workers were throwing ladders in the back of trucks, and people were losing their stuff. But that's not yeah. that's not what it's for. No. And the no. thing is, is like, and there are people that say, this is why I don't go to the float parades anymore, because it's not fun, because it's not just people, you know, with barricade, hopping barricades and stuff like that. It's, you yeah. can't see the floats, you can't enjoy the floats, and you so can't welcome, have fun. Welcome to everyone who's coming in town. Yeah. If you have someone riding, you have to make a sign. 
Yeah. Because it looks like a Where's Waldo picture to anyone that's riding. Yeah. Heather posts like, that every year. If you this is what you look like to me and it's just a Where's Waldo. You have to like yeah, if you're gonna if you're if you want anything <laughs> off a float, make a sign. Uh if you, you know someone riding. If you know someone float, riding. Yeah. Because they're wearing masks, and, uh-huh, and, and they're see. drinking, and they can't hear anything, especially because no. they're at least, like, sitting on the top of a car height level, Dude, and then double deckers. those second tier, those scare me. Those those second tier things, like, yeah. I'm always like... Oh, they're like, harnessed in. Well, they harness them in. Well, it just, it's not harness. necessarily the fact that they're harnessed in. It's the fact that I'm always, because I'm looking at the bottom tier, oh, but yeah, I'm also looking at the top tier. tier I'm like, is head. somebody going to drop something on my head? Because they'll Mardi do that. Mardi Gras, fun or hazardous? <sighs> the hazard is fun. Room. One of my kids came into class and has a black eye because no. he got hit by a bead. <laughs> my son's mom was like, he's got his first bead damage. Oh, Lord. Oh, That's my goodness. Right of passage. Seth, yep. I don't know, my kids were, like, all into it. We went to one, and the kids had a blast. Brendan, <laughs> Brendan, got, Brendan got into it, but, like, my kids are now old enough to understand that, like, you have, you walk up to the float to do, like, to get stuff yeah. and things like that. So they were able to get a few things because I was, because Seth was asking me about that. I was like, you walk up to the float because what happens is they don't want to throw it because they don't want to hurt you. But they also want to make sure that you're the one that gets it. Right. Because yeah. if they're trying, it doesn't matter your age. Especially if you, like, go to, um, like, Little Rascals because it's mostly kids mm-hmm. on the floats throwing um, where typically it's adults Yeah, on the parade. The Little Rascals is an all-kids parade. I forget which one we went to. We went to one last week, and it's right down here, and it was, it was good. I wish there was more group floats. It was mm-hmm. like the king, the queen, the queen's court. Yeah, and it was like, but it was like one person, one person, mm-hmm. one person, and they they have were three they people on them. They were on floats. Okay, um, but they're throwing like just a cup, and it's like. One this side, one that side, mm-hmm. one this side. They're not really that. paying much attention. But it had a band in between. You got to see all the different high school bands. I do love they watching all the different bands, dance though. teams, and then another float. And then they did have a few floats like mixed in that were like the proper big mm-hmm. floats with like twenty people on each side. And yeah, we um, it's just it's one of those things where like it doesn't matter how young your kid is, and it doesn't matter the fact that it is just probably like a two dollar stuffed animal. A forty year old will beat you up for it. So, yeah, they like, and I'm like, why do you care so much? I don't understand. I mean, because I can understand the kids caring, but like, yeah. I don't care that much. Oh, when we were out, we were out with like about six of our friends, and one of the girls got a hula hoop, and nobody else did. Mm. That was a rough twenty minutes. That was a rough twenty minutes. This is the thing where I'm like, and then someone threw bubble gum, and we were all set. Like, okay, okay. everyone's got bubble gum. But, but we had that. What was it? Because they were giving, they were doing glowing stuff. So each of my kids managed to get something that glowed. Yes, so I was yes. like, okay, we're good. <clears throat> but like we could, but that part of the reason was it was like I think Seth got something, and then my mother in law was like, she picked an Ethan up and ran to the float and was like, give this one something because Brennan like could care less. He was on Brad's yeah. shoulder just having a good old time. But like she was like, give him something. <laughs> Don't just give it. Because Nathan, I don't think, Nathan finally understood what he was supposed to do, I yeah. think, at one point. But, like, when they're that age, they're, like, they're, like, doing this. My favorite was what Brendan was, Brendan, Brendan was trying, Brendan kept taking the beads I caught and telling him I had to give them to Brad. But then he would, he would start pulling on the beads while he was on Brad's and Brad said, you cannot choke daddy. And so then Brad, then Brendan started pouting for, like, a minute. And then Brad goes... You're either going to have fun, or I'm going to put you down on the ground. <laughs> you start and, having and fun <laughs> right now. And all of a sudden, Brennan just goes, <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, was like, I was so excited that when the boys were old enough that I could put them on my shoulders, and then 10 minutes in, I'm like, why was I waiting for I this? <sighs> Mine just go on Brad's shoulders. Or they go on. I, I, <laughs> they're too big for me to put them on shoulders. Are you coming Are you coming to tell us we're done? That we're finished? That the, la- the endy kisses? I guess so. The end kisses. She's, All right. You've got some And with there. those dog kisses, we'll stop blabbering. All right. Can I have a kiss? Ranting. Whoop. Where's my kiss? If you can't reach I it. didn't even get one. Can I have a kiss? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't need one anymore. Happy Mardi Gras, everybody. Bye.